Skating is one of those weird, it's such, just such a weird obsession that people, if they get it, then they're stuck, they're fucked for life. And even though I was in a little village in England, it still hit me and here I am, a small part of it. My name's Richard Hart and uh, well, I shoot photographs of skateboarders. I'm from a really tiny little village in the south coast of England in uh, an area called the New Forest. It's far away from California and the skateboard industry as you could imagine. I feel like photography was just another aspect of skating. I wanted to incorporate whatever I could into my passion for skating. I did an article for Slap and then Lance at Slap started giving me film and encouraging me to shoot. And that's when I kind of learned how to shoot. I still shoot film. I like how it looks. I feel like digital things don't really exist unless I can hold them. Film photography physically exists and I feel like I have the photo because I physically have the photo. With shooting skating digitally, it seems to be more a case of shooting a lot of photographs and then working on it after the fact. Whereas shooting film is more about the moment when you're shooting it than it is a week later at home. I happened to be in New York. I was in New York shooting pictures just by chance, a bunch of the crooked guys were coming to town. I ended up skating with them and shooting pictures. My friend Bram, who's the team manager, and I decided we should try and do something with the photos and somehow he got all excited about the idea of doing a guest board and the zine. The board is all old photographs. I tried to include some of my friends and some of my favorite skaters on there and significant photos for me. The zine is all new photos of the crooked guys in New York. There's a lot of great skate photographs that are perfectly lit and perfectly composed, but not interesting to me at all. I think there's more than just capturing the trick. It means more if the photograph has more going on than just the skateboard trick. Either if you can see the environment and maybe something else that's going on in the picture, or just something to make it a little stand out a little bit more. Skateboarding has always attracted creative artistic people. It's always going to be forging ahead because of those creative people. Thank goodness, you know, because that's the only thing that's that pushes skateboarding. It's not doing the same trick, but on a handrail that's five stairs longer. That's I don't regard that as progression. I think the progression in skateboarding comes from the creative people that are thinking of new approaches to things.